create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hello, 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 hello. It's me you're looking for. (laughs) Hi, Aquarius. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Uh, Just a few announcements. So every Tuesday and Thursday, I am live. Thursday night, I answer your questions for free if you would like to get that done. So show up to my live. I'm live every uh, Tuesday and Thursday at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So come on out. Next Thursday, not this Thursday, but next Thursday, we will have our Halloween party. I'm going to come dressed in my costume. You should come dressed in yours also. Hit that Zoom link so I can see you and you'll be able to see me also. Um, What else? Oh, okay, so it's that time of the year. That It's that season to give back. So um, I have uh, come up with an Amazon wish list of what we will give back to the less fortunate, um, i.e. homeless people who are on the street. Um The wish list is below. If you've never donated to this channel, you never plan to get a read and donate, whatever, buy me a coffee, at least donate to the Amazon wish list. Uh, There's also GoFundMe. The GoFundMe money will go to the Amazon wish list. They're about the same amount. You can see that the total list, you know, it it pretty much amounts to about $500. And the GoFundMe is about, we have a goal of $500. So choose whichever one you want to give back to and uh we're gonna purchase those items i will i never video record take pictures of the charitable acts i do because that's my own personal philosophy i just don't like doing that you know i just do it right but i understand if i'm asking now i'm not coming out of my own pocket like i normally do which i will still do but i'm i'm asking the public for their you know contribution to give back to uh, the community or uh, the less fortunate so I know you, you're going to want to see that video so I will take some video people's faces will be extracted I just feel like you want to get these people you know their dignity like you don't just parade them around as if you're you know make you feel better whatever so um, I will video record what uh, what we give out how we, how we give it out and if you want to see some of the things that I have done I uh, if you go over to my Instagram which is I should be linked below or I will link it below you'll see that um, I made little care packages and uh, you, you don't see me giving them out but you see me making the packages and then I give them out you know so uh, anyhow this is what we're doing we got to give back some of us here are very fortunate give back the link is below go fund me Amazon wish list boom all right, so let's get into it after all the announcements, right? What do we have for Aquarius? Oh, last announcement, Aquarius. Um, so I will be doing a pop-up, pop-up meet and greet this Sunday, October 23rd. 
uh, from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. The location will be disclosed to you once you subscribe to my website, my El Toro website, right? So the link will be below. You subscribe to the website. You just uh, RSVP. You don't have to pay anything. Come meet me. I might do some mini readings. So come out if you are in the metro Atlanta area or if you're in the state of Georgia and you want to come to the metro Atlanta area. All right. So um, pop up October 23rd, Sunday. 1 to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, subscribe to my website to get the details. Let's do it. All right, what do we got for Aquarius? I, I never had that many announcements, do I? I? So thank you for bearing, you know, with me and going through that. Um, I hate when I go to, you know, people's, because I look at all kinds of stuff on YouTube, but I hate when they have all the announcements. So anyway, I'm one of the people that I hate today. <laughs> I don't hate anybody, but I just hate the announcements. I don't hate the person. I hate the announcements. All right. Aquarius, Knight of Swords. Something happening really quickly for you, okay? The Knight of Swords talks about 1 to 11 days. So we can just, you know, kind of piece it out to two weeks. Something happening in a matter of weeks. And the, the um, swords are about weeks, okay? Uh, or days, if you will. Um... So something in one to eleven days, something happening. A yes answer. Somebody, something ferociously, fiercely coming at you. Some dedication or determination here with the Knight of Swords. So we've got somebody guided because the knights are under the hierophant. So we've got guidance here. I don't know where they're getting their guidance from or what it's coming from or you know if it's all good, but you get somebody guided towards you. The Knight of Swords could talk about somebody very standoffish, apprehensive about commitment. You know, um, they just can't make the commitment. First of all, they're a knight. Um, and then secondly, um, just very kind of um, questioning, question questions commitment or making the commitment. But it looks like somebody wants to draw you back in, win you over, persuade you, or this is what you'll be doing, Aquarius. This is an Aquarius card, Taurus also. Um this is fire of air okay so this is fast 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 this could even be, talk about maybe like a change in your career the trajectory just shifts you just go in a whole new direction just in a matter of weeks or days right this could be somebody trying to draw you back in you know like i know that i'm losing the aquarius so i gotta do something big major i gotta come with this big Easter speech, like, you know, I'm going to come with this Martin Luther King speech, you know, um, I had a dream, you know, Aquarius, um, or this is what you'll be doing, Aquarius. Let's see what this is really about. What is this Knight of Swords about for the Aquarius? Okay, the Lord or uh, the Emperor coming out for you. So there is, okay. It's either going to be one or two ways. Either you bossed up and somebody's coming at you as a knight or it's the other way around. There's some, you know, boss type energy, some very, um, hold up. They just said, okay, so if this is career and finance, Aquarius, you're going to be seen as an expert. You're going to be the go-to person. There's going to be a lot of recognition, you know, in your, in whatever you do, whatever your sector, due to the fact that organization you were organized and prepared ready for up for the challenge you've determined with the knight of swords this could also be somebody in that capacity of maybe this could be scorpio capricorn aries taurus coming back to you trying to persuade you of something you know maybe to come into their organization there's an offer here this could even be God stepping in and like shifting the trajectory of where you thought you was going, what you thought you were doing, that job you thought you were going to get. Nope. Just completely like a whirlwind with the Knight of Swords here. Some of you are being directed by God to do something, take action. Well, the Moon card and the Six of Cups. Here. So some of you vivid dreams. Coming to you. And in your, in your dreams, Six of Cups. we got Scorpio showing up again. 
Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio with the moon, but I typically see Pisces and Cancer, definitely Cancer with the moon card. So feminine energy here, okay? There could be somebody wanting to reconcile, bring something back, but they're very arrogant, boastful, prideful. This could be even so much going to bait you into an argument, right? Because some people operate under the pretense, as long as I can keep them talking, right? Even if it's arguing, as long as I can just keep them talking. Because, you know, when you go silent, silence speaks truth. If I say nothing to you, if I do nothing in regards to you, you got your answer, right? So somebody is trying to keep something alive by maybe even like argument they see you taking some strong stance you're firm but they come in with oh this is cunning okay with well, the deception trickery mastery you know um this could be somebody that you're estranged from so you guys are not in a relationship you're not really talking if you live together you know it's like you know ships passing in the night it's just you know so there's estrangement here there could even be somebody thinking about maybe in their emotional about past times or the fact that you're a soulmate or um the good times you know they're remembering the good times the simpler times i just want to say i love you You could have children with this person. This person could think about having children with you. They could be even looking at how much you've grown or how the relationship has grown or how you, somebody could even be coming back and saying, I've grown up, you know, I've grown or you made me grow. Sharing your gift with me made me grow. What you don't know, what you don't see are the emotions that I feel for you. Somebody could be hiding their emotions, lying to themselves and everybody else around them. Like, you know, oh, I don't really want the Aquarius or the Aquarius is doing it. I don't really want that person, but they really do. There's somebody who feels like they need to talk to you because they want to declutter their emotions. In the past, recent past, 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 conversations turned into argument because somebody's lack of, you know, like emotional maturity. Not knowing how to express themselves emotionally. Like a fireball, right? And not knowing how to, you know, um, accurately verbalize how you feel. So you just, you might act out. You might be the knight of swords. I don't know. Somebody was that way. Just, you know, erratic. Like a Tasmanian devil. You know? Not knowing how to express how they really feel. Somebody wants to go back to a time or want you to go back to a time, Aquarius, where, where you were like blissfully unaware. <laughs> you know, just like, you know, just unaware of the circumstances. Maybe that you were getting played or, or you weren't the only one or I don't know. Somebody wants to go back to that. This talks about connecting backwards, maybe even tracing roots. Maybe you'll do that. That will be significant. Maybe you got to go backwards before you can go forward. This is like a deep dive into your emotions. Deep dive into, this talks about childhood, trauma, maybe. Drama, I don't know. A father figure or a man or a masculine, feminine energy. So man, woman, uh, the masculine, or, no, the feminine being sometimes delusional. Maybe feeling like this is your enemy, hidden enemy. So this person won't, you know, for, won't be forthcoming outright and say that. Hell, I just don't like you. You know, it's always hidden. It's always an ulterior motive. It's always some underlining issue. It's always, you know, that under, the undercurrent, that underbelly. Like you, you know, they know that you know that it's it's that. It, it's cunning. It's deception. It's lies. It's trickery. Maybe even somebody lying to themselves, living in maybe a delusional, altered state. There could be that somebody is. Like, uh, maybe bi, bipolar, bisexual, bye bye. You know, I don't know. You may tell somebody bye bye, whatever. I don't know. Bye bye because somebody couldn't grow up. Like, you, you're not doing what 
you should be doing. I don't know. Couldn't tell somebody that. Alright, so we got Gemini showing up the lovers. So this could have been soulmate connection, twin flame, whatever you want to ascribe to it. I don't know. You know. You know. I don't. Right? Um, sometimes this card talks about maybe... So being a soulmate, twin flame connection, somebody didn't choose the soulmate, twin flame connection. So then it, it causes friction. It makes things harder. You know, you get turbulence, you get opposition. You're not choosing this, this, uh, this connection. We met for a reason. Typically in this card, there's like an angel, the angel. Yeah. It's like an angel uh, brings the two together. So that's divinity. The angels make sure that you and this person meet. Boom. That's all they had to do. What you do, what the other person does, is completely free will. And, and that's the beauty of this life. You got choice. Whatever. And the six, which is Gemini, a six card, um, which is l l the lovers, um, is about our choice. Maybe someone didn't choose the soulmate connection. Maybe they let somebody else, something else, come in between the soulmate connection. Maybe somebody couldn't see it, though. They didn't see how, you know, like, valuable, important the connection was, and now they do see it. Let's see what else is going on here. Somebody chose somebody else. You chose somebody else. Somebody had somebody else. Someone wanted to keep you as just a lover. Wow, okay. Two of Cups coming out now. So, this talks about healing, okay? This, this could even be healing because maybe you have embarked on this new spiritual journey spiritual practice path maybe the other person has this is cancer so this first deacon cancer so early june you know, early july excuse me late june early july you could like have aquarius as they're rising it could be a cancer um so, this talks about healing, right? Because it typically has the caduceus. This talks about medicinal healing, uh, the healing powers, the healing pro powers of, you know, chakra alignment, a kundalini energy, um, the dragon, protection, right? So, this talks about maybe somebody even wanting to protect the relationship, but they also want to heal the severed, because something got severed here. Somebody cut this off. Because remember, the twos are about a decision. So you got to go in and make an incision and cut away. So it's like somebody took this and cut this out. They cut this off. Somebody, Someone wants to heal this. Heal this. Um, this severed tie. Someone is now saying, I, I am uh, seeking a one-on-one -on -one relationship. Um, with you, there was uh, love and friendship. For some people, in, in the Two of Cups, it talks about that equals a marriage. What more do you need? We're friends and we love us? Okay. Um, so somebody feels like, okay, yeah, I, I, I want this back. The exchange with the Two of Cups, I want this partnership back. Somebody feels like, you know, it's best... For us to be together at this time. So this definitely could be someone you're estranged from. You broke up with. You cut them off. Cut them out. They cut you off. Cut you out. I don't know. Somebody wants it back. What is going on here? Before the Akawa. Akawa. You get somebody wanting you back. You want to do anything to get it. Yeah, wow. Five of Cups. Two and five gives you seven. So we got Fantasy. We've got somebody not doing anything, though. Um, maybe a lot of wishful thinking about the connection, fantasizing about you. This is somebody deep in their emotions about you. Seven of Cups, Scorpio again. Five of Cups, Scorpio. Um, so, Scor so, so we get somebody deep in there. Keep in mind what Scorpio is. So Scorpio is like um, uh, water, deep water. Think of stagnant water, right? Think of murky water. You don't know what's under there. So somebody is deep in their emotions. They're going to the, the underbelly, the undercurrent of what's going on uh, with them. They may even come off as the emperor, 
you know, haughty, um, arrogant, conceited, because they don't want to concede to the fact that they're deep in love with you, Aquarius, or vice versa. This is how you feel. There is someone feeling like, you know, they missed the opportunity with you or vice versa. This is how you feel. It talks about in the five of cups, the relationship is recoverable. But there's been so much time past, maybe, or so much shit that has happened. Look, there's a lake, a body of water between this person and what they want. So there's been so many emotions, it, the up and down the roller coaster. There's also been like um, somebody acting in strategy, in, you know, keeping up chaos, you know, um, Somebody acting in the energy of duality, Luciferin, because that's what duality is. So, you know, I, I'm going to be good this day. I'm going to be bad the next. I love you today. I don't know about tomorrow. So you got somebody who never really decided on the relationship. And that could even be indicative of the fact that they had somebody else. They had something else. They had another lifestyle. I don't know. You know, um, we talked about polar. It and buy, you know. So we've got somebody here with the five of cups. Um, they feel like they missed out on the opportunity because they were too concerned with those, you know, with maybe socializing, keeping other people involved in this connection, third party situations, um, keeping up drama, talking real big cash money shit about you. And it wasn't even true. Keeping, you know, just definitely um, keeping the vibe low. The chaos. Maybe even creating chaos. This was like a warmonger. This was somebody who was in their feminine energy. Whether it be a man or whether it be a woman. Like negative of the feminine energy. So the negative of feminine energy is deceitful, cunning, trickery. Okay. Uh, entrapment. Because women, typically, we don't have brute force. We're not walking around, you know, puffed out, chest puffed out, muscles here to there. We can, you know, knock somebody out. No, we have to, when we want to win, we have to. And we want to win in a um, maybe a negative vibration. Um, we have to use our emotions and our mind. You know, we have to come up with the plan. You know, uh, we have to be the sneak. You know, for some of us. Um, well, not even for some of us. If you want to be negative, if you want to win, if you want to, um, cunning just talks about you know uh, masquerading, maybe even. This could have been somebody was masquerading like they wanted a connection. They really didn't. This is a, this is somebody feels like they're losing control over themselves and the relationship. Oh, this because the Aquarius won't talk. The Aquarius is firm. This one back to talking about somebody trying to bait you into a, a relationship, not a relation, uh, argument. If I can just. Get the Aquarius talking. If I can keep them talking. Even if it is argument. What do Aquarius need to know? Yeah, if This was like toxic. It, be, it was once healthy or could have been very healthy with the lovers. The, the, um, the universe bringing you and this person together initially. But once again, what kicks in? Free will. And somebody chose, they didn't choose the connection, which made it, you know, hard, friction. And, and when you don't choose the soulmate connection in the lovers, it talks about having long lasting implication or like long lasting feelings. Like you never really get over that person or that relationship. We've got somebody here who um, feels as if they're losing control, you know. The devil card and the four of wands coming out together. This could have been like a toxic um, cohabitation also. Uh, somebody's, I heard like workplace is toxic. Somebody kept 
up like um somebody wanted to keep somebody chain keep you chained to maybe the idea of a relationship with the four of wands someone is now hell bent I don't know if that's a good thing but like obsessed with hell bent on Recon this is reunion having a reunion seeing you having you Will you clarify the Four of Wands for, for Aquarius? So we've got, this could even be like same-sex connection. All right, so we've got the devil. Someone's, someone is really wanting you to choose to have this reunion. What is this about? Yeah, page of wands with the queen of swords. So it's, it's, hear me out. Give me the opportunity to make up. I'm coming out. This is a person who's trying real hard to get your attention. They could even be doing something. You know, some energy work, magic, spell. I don't know. Um, trying real hard to get you to choose them. Hear them out. Queen of swords. Um So the Queen of Swords is about making an executive decision. So it's like someone's trying real hard, maybe even to change your mind or change your decision to have reunion. Four of Wands. To have like a makeup, a makeup session, sex with you. But the Queen of Swords has turned her back or if you're a man you've turned your back and um, you 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 understand that you got to sever something here you've gone and gotten some advice some wise counsel about what you need to do you're also understanding that you know you've got to if you want newness you got to sever with that sword from the past you can't take the past with you so distinction here this could even be this could even be somebody facing their fears of going back to having a reunion with maybe a feminine energy. This could be mother, mother, child, home, roots. Someone's drawing a line in the sand. And they're making the terms. I deal with you how I want to deal with you. Because I'm trying to maintain, because I've got some clarity, and this is this is just final, you know. It's final, is what someone is saying. You know, I, I'm not going back on it. I'm not going back on the this anymore. I think somebody's gone back on this before, on this relationship, and this connection. Someone feels like this is like entrapment. To go back. I get wrapped up in this again. I'm going to have to untangle. Unravel myself. Out of this entanglement. Because that's what it's going to be. It's like somebody wants you back. As an option. What, it, what does this person really want? Three of Wands. Page of Knight of Pentacles. Um, Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Somebody definitely wants you to change your mind. Uh, let me see. Oh, this was the, I don't need to have this deck, but this card is out. I don't have this deck out, but this card was left out. Get more information. You can't really trust this person just yet. It's going to take some time for them to show some devotion. 
for you to make a move and allow this person, this is somebody from your past, to allow them to come back. Why the three of wands? Sometimes I get the three of wands if somebody's like trying to string it along. You know, this person may have the best intention or maybe they got, maybe their intention is changing for you. You know, maybe they didn't have the best intention for you. It's changing, but you know, intentions are just what they are. They, I intend to get up at 9 a.m. every day, but it seems as if I'm not doing it. <laughs> I intend to do it. So be cautious about somebody's intentions. You know, it's, it, it's not what they are doing. Can I find the Three of Wands with the Knight of Pentacles? It's like I intend to keep you stagnant, stuck. King of Swords. Yeah. All right. So this is somebody. This is definitely a relationship where there's a lot of mental agility. Like I got to figure out. King of Swords talks about strategy, being 10 steps ahead. So it's like definitely someone's trying to think about how they can keep you, get you back, um, get you to trust. Okay. Her drawbridge. Let down the drawbridge. Right. Forthcoming battles. So it's just like this person wants to be ahead of the curve. They want to be ahead of what you'll say, ahead of what you do, what you expect of them. I don't know, it's like strategy. Coming with the strategy. You know? Four Wands again. They might come to you and tell you some truth. That they want to have a reunion with you. Take you out. Um, you know, successful completion. But what are they What are they trying to complete? You know, was, this might even be like your... Twin flame or somebody like this. Um, but I don't know if they're able to give you what you want. Listen. Judgment. They could be answering some call, hearing the call, maybe wanting to re so Scorpio coming up again, relive Venus and Cancer, Aries. Wanting to like Judgment talks about the past. Some of you need to go back to the past, though. You have a strategy of how you're going to heal from the past. How you're going to approach this situation with a feminine energy. All right? And then you got somebody wanting to... This is issues from the past. This is issues. Somebody got issues with their mom, okay? Or with a, a feminine energy. Um... So we're going to dig up all of the issues and we're going to rightfully, you know, kind of reconcile them, go through them. And then we're going to bury it to never deal with this again. This just talks about maybe a family uh, dynamic, love relationship, whatever it may be, where you, you guys never had really resolve anything. There's never really any reconciliation. You don't go over the account, over the accounts of you just just come back together and you have reunion but in this reunion the universe is saying have reconciliation go over the account of what happened what didn't happen who said what how it made you feel what you did what you didn't do go over it so that you don't have to keep reliving this as long as you keep sitting around each other and just eating the pie carving the turkey you know um putting the bowls on the christmas tree but never talking about the real issues at hand, the underbelly, the undercurrent, the deep, deep, deep feelings. You'll always be here. You, and it'll always be resurfacing. The judgment will always be coming out. It's like the universe is saying, answer the call in regards to what we're telling you to do and how to resolve this and have reconciliation with these certain circumstances. There could be a, a man, a boy, a man, I'll say man, going back to his mother telling this mother her shortcomings true reconciliation is when you confess your shortcomings 
uh, to one another. It provides or it creates humility so that there can be, you know, um, vulnerability so that there can be compassion. Begets, begets, begets. Humility, compassion, uh, healing. I don't know. It's just like somebody is really not wanting to do the deep dive and it just keeps coming up. You know, someone just don't want, I just, you only got two real emotions, fear and love. And when we fear something, we stay away from it. We, we fear the pain. We fear the hurt. We fear the shame. We stay away from it. And we go towards things that we, that will offer us love or pleasure, you know, and, and, and that's all that somebody wants. They want a, an easy route, a, a shortcut, an escape escapism happening here i don't want to deal with the fact that i was this or that in my childhood or somebody did this or did that or i don't want to deal with the people who did it or did i just want to move forward i just want to come over here and create my new life and forget about those people well it's going to resurface because you haven't dealt with it it's going to resurface with the new people this is becoming like redundant for my uh, aquarius right now let's see this is so it's like now showing up in a love affair too because you hadn't dealt with some healing that you needed to deal with from your roots whether it was father mother or both the sun card whom the sun sets free is free indeed if you uncover unpack all these issues you'll be free indeed that's all it's saying you're not free right now you're still entrapment oh the devil card you're still in fear you're still chained to the hurt of what somebody did, what they didn't do, whether it was in love, whether it was in family. My family talked about me. They ostracized me. They stole from me. They blah, blah, blah. And then I got with this uh, partner and he or she stole from me and they, come, you know, they devised all these plans against me and blah, blah, blah. If you start connecting the dots, you'll see that, you know, you kind of got similarities in every aspect of your life, whether it's at work, family, love relationships with yourself. So if we start connecting the dots, you can start to start the healing process. Whom the sun sets free is free indeed. Whom the sun brought, brings enlightenment to. Enlightenment to sheds light on all these issues is free indeed. King of Cups is free indeed. This talks about... spirituality maybe even like going into some spiritual capacity practicing studying spirituality wanting to be a little pastor preacher of some sort having the capacity to deal with a lot of different personalities a lot of different emotions the king of emotion right um Some of you are getting like downloads, hearing things that you need to do. You need to go after. You need to heal. You need to do this. You need to do that. The King of Cups talks about bit, you know, being focused on business matters. Business isn't always like, you know, of course, the exchange of currency, but business matters. The business of your family, the business of your lineage, of your genealogy, the business of, you know, you fill in the blank. Focused on business matters. Hang on one second. No. No predictive. Okay. Hang on, guys. Hang in there. So, the definition of business, a person's regular occupation, profession, or trade. Um, let's see. The practice of making, of making one's life living by engaging in commerce, okay? Um, we also have, like, dealings. Proceedings. So if the King of Cups is focused on dealings, proceedings, or proceedings, trading. Hmm. 
then you need to be focused on the king of emotions trading proceeding oh and focus on how you proceed with the two of cups wow with reconciliation healing severed times so the business of the two of cups this talks about commerce too it talks about the exchange and and then we said trading so how do you maybe trading the hurt the resentment the pain for empathy apathy love devotion seeing things from you know a different perspective so you're going to trade those negative emotions that negative vibration uh that fear for love oh okay it's only two real emotions you're gonna face so you're gonna trade that fear for love aquarius all right <sighs> y'all readings be taking me through something already. oh my gosh all right let's see future energy for the aquarius so this is, so take this advice in love and in like romantic love and in your family um, dynamic. I don't know. So a lot of you need to like heal family uh, situations. Okay. And let's see. What's the future energy as we close out? What's the future energy for Aquarius? Poverty. It's a 37. You could be 37. You could be turning 37. But that turns into 10. So it's about the end for you. You may have been. That might have been your prayer. Whoa. I can't make it up. I'm so happy I shuffle in front of you guys. Wow. I can't make it up. It's <laughs> sudden wealth. So this is 10. 7 and 3 is 10. And then that's 11. You manifested it. I said it. I was like. Some of you might have been praying. Wait. Broke assness. That is a word. You, I'm praying away broke assness. I don't want broke assness no more. I'm tired of having broke assness. Get it out of my life, God. Take broke assness away. Some of you are really in and it's about to happen for you. I heard by your hand. All right, so something you're doing. Okay. The blessing your hand. Okay, sudden will. Wow, 777, seven, seven, being on the right path. Mastery. Also with the seven. It says the perfection. Seven days, seven musical notes, seven real colors, uh, seven dimensions, you know, seven, the number of perfection. So something is being perfected in you. Also, this could be harvest too. You know, you already planted the seed. The seed, oh, it was always you, Aquarius. It was in you. You know, something's about to sprout, grow. Ooh, all right, let's see what is happening for my Aquarius. False person. All right, okay. So I'm feeling like you're coming out of um, maybe lacking intimacy with yourself, not wanting to be vulnerable. And now you're about to be vulnerable. You have to put yourself out there. Okay. And you're really going to let the mask drop and just say, this is me. If you don't like it, guess what? Take that with God. Let's see. Keep in mind, that, okay, so when these two cards come out together, they might, it could even be indicative of somebody even trying to come back in a false pretense. Someone also feels left out a lot. And they could be spying on you or keeping tabs on you or wanting to come back. Why well, I can't make it up. Imprisonment. So they're like stuck on you. They're in their own prison. Somebody that you didn't deal with that um this could have been inherited issues the, the family you were born into um this could even be the dynamic you were born into your you know your your cross to carry your burden in life right um letting something go intimacy vulnerability compassion okay so um Somebody that you had no compassion for, 
uh, they're in their own little personal hell, you know, about you, surrounding you, with you. You don't know how this person is coping or not coping, you know. Who, who is this about? Yeah, feminine energy. She's by herself. I keep telling you, there's like some, some of y'all need to go back to mom or guardian that was a feminine energy. And you need to have some talks in the near future. I think what's meant for you is being held up because you won't deal with this. The courtship, the community. definitely somebody seeing you as like single a good catch they see you as about to get into a relationship this is someone from your past they are wanting to reconnect they feel like you're the one that got away they could be spying on you like under false Age, pretense, and acting like there's somebody else. But they, I don't know. This is weird. That's weird right there. Uh, they could be looking at you via other people. Um, you are, yeah, they're suffer. They're suffering or there's somebody wanted you to suffer. Somebody is deep in their emotions, under the ground. Underground. Underbelly. Under. Somebody's made their own little personal hell for themselves. Could be a feminine energy. Page of Cups. Could be somebody who wants to come back into your life. Who's into beauty fashion. This could be you. This could be someone um, who needs to grow emotionally. There's emotional immaturity. The Page of Cups also talks about um, developing clairvoyance. So some of you need to take some time to do that. Somebody is suffering now because you're developing your clairvoyance. So you're seeing, you know, beyond the veil. You're seeing beyond this person. You're seeing beyond uh, the narrative that they wanted to write for you. Someone wants to, they want that romantic thing back. I don't know, new moon. Yeah, they want a new opportunity with you, a clean slate. They want to be a part of your blessings. They want you to be open. They're trying to manifest. Um, some of you need to start to study more spirituality. This talks about the psychic, a mystic, um, developing your clairvoyance. Maybe around this new moon. We've got one coming up on the 25th of October. It's just somebody's stuck here. You stuck, they stuck, everybody's stuck, stuck. Um, This could be someone on their deathbed. There could be deathbed confession. Somebody could have died. It's got something to do with someone's death. Somebody is definitely suffering. Dealing with the lies, the drama, the bullshit that they created. Even though it might look like to other people, they are just like living the time, having the time of their life. They're suffering. Why the new moon here? Why is the new moon here? Right. Somebody's in deep depression. You're going to get like some type of download in regards to that. This reduces to a six. So harmony. So you find harmony and this person finds deep depression, the transposing or the, I don't know. Oh, trans, yeah, maybe even, yeah, the transposing of energy. Maybe you used to be this way when you were with this person or they wanted you this way. They wanted you to suffer. They wanted you to overthink. They wanted you to always be concerned. They always they want you to be slipping into some deep depression, but you develop your maybe psychic abilities, clairvoyance, and you're able to see through. OK, and now all what they wanted for you, they're resting in 
And you're getting newness, blesses, blessings, manifesting, new clean slate. All because you came into enlightenment, awareness, the fish, right? So maybe even spirituality. Understanding who you are. So Aquarius, that's what I have for you. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you. Down in the comment section, go over to the website, book your own reading there. If you are in the metro Atlanta area or the state of Georgia, I will be hosting a pop-up meet and greet. You'll get the details once you um, subscribe to my website, my website. So go to my website. Uh, it'll be a pop-up as soon as you get there. Go ahead, fill in your information, and then you'll get uh, an email about the details of um, the meet and greet um, the meet and greet is 100% free okay um if you want to get your own personal reading keep in mind uh i have a reading on sale uh 10 minutes for 35 dollars take advantage take advantage take advantage so you can gain clarity i'm live every tuesday thursday night at 9 30 p.m eastern standard time thursday i answer free questions for you um also, readings are on sale, always on sale, 40% off. Use code 40 off at checkout. And uh, if you took something from the reading, you can always give back by buying me a coffee. The link is below. And if you want to give to um, the Less Fortunate Drive, go ahead and do that. You can do that by making a contribution um, via GoFundMe or go to the Amazon wish list and purchase something there. Okay. Uh, let's let's do that let's do that if you've never given to this channel give to that you know um shout out to new york la chicago dallas london atlanta and philadelphia thank you guys many blessings to you take care